Hi, I'm Rhys Stanley, Managing Director of Just Property Management. And today's vlog is on what types of window coverings are safety hazards for children and what does the legislation say? Blinds and curtains with loose cords or chains can strangle young children. Since the early 1990s, at least 18 children has, have tragically died in Australia this way. A child can place a loop over their head or get tangled in loose cords or chains when they're either sleeping in a cot or a bed where cords or chains are hanging, playing near cords or chains, or standing on furniture, a chair or a sofa or beds for example, or climbing using something like an overturned toy box crate to look out of a window that has a blind or curtain cords or chains. So do you as a landlord have obligations to ensure internal window coverings are safe? Yes. If your blinds and curtains were supplied from January 2004 onwards, then they should meet the product safety and installation standards. However, if any blinds and curtains bought from January 2004 onwards are unsafe, alert your tenants. Advise them to immediately tie the cords or chains out of reach and move away any furniture that children might climb on to reach the cords or chains. As soon as possible, have them compliant. So what if the blinds or curtains were bought before January 2004? If blinds or curtains were bought before January 2004, it's strongly recommended that you alert your tenants. Advise them to immediately tie any cords or chains so they are out of the reach and move away any furniture that children might climb on to reach the cords or chains. It's also recommended that you arrange to do the following. Buy and install cleats or tensioning devices from hardware stores or curtain and blind shops and use at least two screws to fix them in place or cut the cords or chains to prevent them causing a loop if these are not essential to the working of the blind. So how can I make loose cords or chains safe? You can buy safety devices from Bunnings or curtain and blind shops to secure loose cords and chains. If a cleat is used, then it must be secured at least 1.6 metres from the floor level because children can be capable of unwinding a cord or a chain from a cleat. Another option is to tie down or tension device to pull a looped cord or chain tight to secure it to the wall or floor. The safety device must be firmly secured with at least two screws, not double-sided tape or glue to prevent a child from being able to remove the cord or chain. If the cord or chain is not essential to the working of the blind, you may want to consider cutting it to 1.6 metres above the floor. Cords or chains that have 1.6 metres or more above the floor when fully extended do not need to be secured. Curtains and blinds without cords or chains do not require safety devices. As a matter of best practice when inspecting properties, our property managers are advised to check that all internal window coverings in rental properties are as safe as possible for children. Where a hazard exists, the tenant should be advised to secure loose cords or chains so they're out of reach of the children and the owner should be advised that a permanent solution is needed to ensure compliance with the mandatory standards. In some circumstances, a tenant may ask for permission to install curtains or blinds in your rental premises. If you provide permission, it's advisable to inform the tenant in writing to install blinds and curtains as required by the national mandatory product safety standards. Alternatively, you may wish to specify that only curtains and blinds without cords or chains should be installed. If you require further information, please contact our office at Just Property Management and we can send you our blind and curtain cord safety link that will step out how to make blinds and curtains compliant.